She had a terrible time. The town hated her. She was called that awful woman by her neighbors and that atheist mother by newspapers across the country. Her friends stopped returning phone calls rather than risk speaking with her. She received up to 200 letters a day, some of the writers claiming they would pray for her, many wishing for much worse. All because, in 1945, Vashti McCollum, a young mother of three from Champaign, Illinois, would file a historic lawsuit that would forever change the relationship between religion and public schools in America. All cases involving the crossing of the line regarding establishment of a religion, crashes on public property, Ten Commandments in public buildings and on public property, Put it back. prayers in the schools and this sort of thing, all these stem from the McCollum case. That's basically the significance of the case. What courage it must have taken for a mother and her young children to stand up to that and say, this is something that you can't do. You cannot bring God into the public school. Vashti McCollum has to convince, ultimately, the U.S. Supreme Court to decide something it had never decided before to convince five justices that you're right and that all of American history is wrong, uh, extremely daunting. I knew I was right. There was no question in my mind. 